What's up everyone, Carter here, and today I have a very special video for you because I'm actually going to go thrift shopping. I'm going to show you what I buy, what I buy it for, and what I plan on reselling it for back on Amazon. I'm going to show you the exact products, a little bit inside the thrift stores, and just show you how you can go out and start finding products in your local area to resell on Amazon. Now you're probably wondering, I'm actually in a nine foot cargo van that I rented from U-Haul because I plan to find a lot of stuff and also on the back end behind the scenes, I'm also doing some retail arbitrage, buying some stuff in some local cities. I plan to fill this whole van. I got some bigger items as well that I'm selling. That's why I ended up getting the van. But I just want to document the process and try to give you guys as much value as possible. So let's go ahead, let's hop straight into the video and go into the first thrift store. All right, so we're inside the first thrift store. Obviously, first things first, safety. So we got the safety, just found this. So this, it's got a pretty good rank in toys. I think the lowest offer FBA was like 60 new. As you can see, they got it for 545. So that's the first find. Um, this is a newer thrift store. Um, I haven't been to this one yet. Um, I just wanted to try it out. The books, not, not the best, as you can see. Um, they look like they've been sorted through already. The electronics aren't the best, but we'll keep searching. What's up everyone? So coming to you live inside the van, as you can see, I'm actually inside because it, we're like once again next to a main road and I want to eliminate the excess outside noise, but we did pretty good inside this Goodwill. As you can see, we probably picked up six to seven different items. I kind of want to break it down for you real quick. Um, so one of the first items we found was this ankle brace. So this goes for about 23 bucks new. We got it for five, so I mean that's an easy probably seven to ten dollar profit after fees. That was a pretty good one. We got one textbook, a little bit older. Um, it had a pretty good rank. It's going for about I don't know maybe 18 bucks used. Um, it has a pretty good sales rank, so I see that selling fairly quickly. So. That'll probably net me, I don't know, maybe another seven, eight bucks after fees. Um, then these are kind of interesting. Uh, these bead holders, uh, as you can see, these are brand new sealed. I love new items because I mean, they're so easy to sell and to flip. Um, so I got three of these for three bucks each. And those each sell for around 14 or 15. So once again, that's probably another six to maybe $7 profit per unit after fees. Now, the reason you want to target and why you always want to pick up items where you can make at least a $5 profit and 5 to $10 profit is it's like the foundation of your reselling business. Obviously, you know, you like the flips where you make 30, 50, 100 bucks per unit, but these are going to help cover your expenses, the costs that you pay and everything that associates with running an Amazon business. So, I mean, and they add up over time. I mean, here's seven bucks, here's seven bucks, here's seven bucks. Here's seven bucks, here's seven bucks. I mean, that's 35 bucks profit right there. That covers gas, you know, that covers the cost of the items, uh, food or whatever. So, I mean, this really adds up over time. I mean, it's small, lightweight. I'll just lob that in an FBA shipment. It'll just get sold pretty quickly. These next two, I'm actually gonna pull up the screenshots for them real quick and put them on screen for you guys. But these had some decent profit margin. So I picked up this Emerson. Um, I tested it. it, does not come with the remote. Um, does come with all the extension cables and everything on the back that you need. Um, but still, right now there's one used offer for like 57, but that's like acceptable condition. I'd say this is anywhere from good to very good condition. So I'd expect to get probably around 75 bucks for this. The cool thing about, um, you know, these VCRs or DVD players is if you can bundle a remote, see I got it for, got it for $7, I don't know if you can see that. But if you can bundle like a remote together, these things that increases the price by at least 20 to 25 dollars and it has a much higher value so if it either comes to the remote or you can buy the remote separate off ebay that's a great way to increase your profit now this is one of the better items we've found so this is used but it's almost in like new condition it's it's complete i checked it before i left the store um now the screenshot is kind of a little bit deceptive as you can see there's there's a lower price point on it for like 50 bucks, but I'm pretty sure it's just for this printer thing. Um, but it comes with a couple other accessories. Um, as you can see, there's an FBA price for around 140. I mean, it's complete. Comes with like the manual, the extension cables. I mean, it even has the the fill that used to have when it was brand new. Here's the actual unit. So I would sell this in at least very good condition. I still need to kind of check around. Um, and, and see if I could potentially sell it for like you new. Know, I'd probably go for very good, 
but it is complete and it comes with everything. So I think I should be able to fetch at least a hundred dollars for it. FBA, very good condition. I don't know where the price tag is, but I paid twenty dollars for this. So I mean, after fees, I'm looking probably at maybe fifty to fifty-five bucks after profit. Um, it's somewhat lightweight too, so it's not going to really kill me in storage fees. But either way, that was a pretty good haul. Um, probably made at least, I don't know, 40 there, 40 here. Probably near 150 bucks profit just off of that one haul. So that's pretty cool. What's up, everyone? So we're about to head into the next thrift store right now. But I just have to tell you this quick story that just, just blew my mind. Made me a little bit fresher, but I think it's just funny. So... I'm in a different city and I'm doing a UP, uh, USPS drop off just at the post office. Had a bunch of merchant fulfilled orders. Um, so it's not my usual post office. So I roll in there with like two or three bags of orders, already prepaid, labeled. I usually just drop them off and I'm good to go. And I walk in there and first off, there's this line that's like 15 people deep just because everything that's going on right now, all the safety precautions at the post office is having to take. There's just this long line and when people get in lines, they get frustrated. So. I just walk past the line. All of a sudden, all these people start freaking out. They're like, what are you doing? Like, get to the back of the line. All these these ladies just yelling at me, and I'm just like, I'm here to drop off my packages. But like, the setup of the office was weird. There was like a separate door that I had to go through, and I was like looking, like where I could drop my packages off. Because usually there's like a little table that has other packages on. I was looking for that, and this lady comes up to me, and she's like, you need to get to the back of the line. I'm like, hey, lady. I'm like, first off. Like, I do this every single day. I sell stuff online. I drop off packages. I know what I'm doing. She's like, you need to get to the back of the line. She's like, and then she starts talking about all this other stuff, like how her son's an attorney and how I'm somehow disrespecting her and disrespecting women um, because I'm a male. I'm like, ma'am, I'm literally just trying to drop off my packages for my online business that I run. And eventually I found a little drop off center, dropped them off and just left. But I thought, well, I just thought it was a funny story. I mean, I'm just doing what I'm doing, just running my business and people just just get ticked off for stupid things. Uh, but I just thought I'd share that because it's really funny. Okay, so we are back in the van, as you can see. Picked up a couple more items. Um, the last Goodwill I went to, I struck out, didn't really find anything. They didn't have the best selection. Um, then we hit one more Goodwill, probably the last one for today, um, and did pretty well. So I picked up this American Landscapes Jigsaw Collection. So it's actually a brand new seal, as you can see. It's you know, still brand new. It's got a little bit of a higher sales rank in the toys category. Um, so I don't suspect it to sell anytime soon. Um, but I mean, it's fairly lightweight. Um, and my cost was literally $5. So $5 into probably around 50 bucks. That's like 10x my money. So I'll take that all day. Then I picked up an audio book. These do extremely well for some reason. Um, I think a lot of people just like to listen to books instead of read them. Um, and these are kind of unique depending on where you go, um, but this one has a bit of a higher sales rank in the books category. I think it was closer to three million. I'm looking at the screenshot right now, um, but I mean it's so lightweight. I paid like a dollar for this, and this should easily sell for probably around thirty bucks used. Um, so once again, a dollar to thirty dollars. I'll take that all day long. Last two were some just classic older Xbox 360 games, Rio. Madden 16. So each of these should sell for anywhere from around $20 to $25. Uh, Madden's currently going for around $25 on FBA. Uh, then Rio's going for around $30. So realistically, it should be around $25 a piece. Now, when it comes to being a successful Amazon, eBay seller, online seller, it's all about identifying trends and identifying products that are popular you know, for that period of time. For instance, the Aunt Jemima brand, um, it's been in the news with everything going on lately, um, which has a really high rate of people buying it online, surprisingly. People buying syrup, people buying pancake mix. I mean, people are, are buying this stuff like crazy. And so I've taken this opportunity and have been able to turn it into a profit. So like, I'll even explain some of the stuff I've sold because I'll put some screenshots up there as well. I'm looking at my phone at the moment. But like I sold a 35 ounce thing of a um, whole wheat pancake mix for $18 plus $7 shipping. So like for around 25 bucks, I sold a, I think it was probably around a $4. It cost me $4 to buy and I sold it for like 26. Cost me probably about six or seven bucks to ship. So after fees, I'll probably make 10 to 12 bucks profit. And I've been selling these the last couple days now. Once again, I don't know how long it's gonna last. Um, there's just a lot of hype. There's a lot of anticipation to purchase this product right now and it's selling a lot online. Um, I sold a four pack of the two pound Aunt Jemima original pancake and waffle mix. Um, so I sold that for 30 plus $6 or $7 shipping. 
So I got around 37 total. My buy cost was around 250 per box, around $10. So I'll probably make another 10, 15 bucks profit just from that one transaction alone. And then I sold a three pack of the 24 ounce syrup for $20 plus another $7 shipping. So for $27 probably made another $10 profit. Now, the reason I'm sharing this with you is because one, I wanna give away some products and some just insights on how you can start sourcing in your local area because that's what I plan on doing the rest of today and all day tomorrow is doing a lot of retail arbitrage, going to big box stores like Home Depot, Walmart, Target, and clearing out the shelves for the different specific products I'm looking for. Unfortunately, I can't share those on my YouTube channel just because that's what I personally sell on Amazon and I don't want you guys, you know, going out and saturating the market for those products and I mean just like I mentioned I found probably 400 maybe 450 bucks worth of product to resell on Amazon and I spent like maybe 60 to 70 dollars max so you can start an Amazon reselling business on a budget I highly recommend it the profit margins are one of the best in any business model I've really ever seen but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video you got to see a little of the behind the scenes some products that I'm buying what I bought them for what I plan on selling them for and just bringing you all in along the journey and if you guys did enjoy it please drop a like on this video i would really appreciate it if you guys have any quick comments with anything that i explained or went over or did in this video feel free to comment below i'll get back to you as soon as possible and if you want to see more content just like this on how you can create an additional stream of income online then subscribe to this channel and i'll see everyone in the next video